All right, guys. Here we are on the new series of the GTA 4 edition part of it, wherever you want to call that. We have officially wrapped up the Lost and Damned, so it would only be fitting to move on to the Ballad of Gay Tony. However, just a little quick reminder, I'd like to see y'all hit that like button and that subscribe button. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump on in here, guys. Let's see what this is all about. Seems how this is starting new for me. I've never played this, nor have seen it played by anyone else. Here we go. Some funky music going on. I feel this is going to be a more light-hearted series than The Lost and Damned. Hey, yo, I'm a gun club member. I'm going to take these rookies downtown. Are you with me? Hey, what's your name, son? It's Luis, man. I don't think that's such a good idea. Yeah? They said catching that pass in my high school championship football game was a bad idea because I broke my leg in 13 places, but I scored a touchdown and won the game. The world was built out of bad ideas, my friend. Come on. The PE4 has been molded and is set to explode in 60 seconds. Now listen, people, we're your friends. Me and me brother here. Why are we... you telling them we're brothers, you idiot? That's going to make it hard for them to find us, isn't it? I'm trying to be honest with these people. We put them through a lot today. Fuck these people. Fuck your cause. That shit's over. Ireland's not the only thing that's green. Dollars are too. Now you've said bloody Ireland. That's going to narrow the search, ain't it? Fuck you. Take the needle out your arm, then tell me what to do. I'll let you tell me what to do when you stop shoving half of Bolivia up your nose every Saturday night. Motherfucker! <laughs> fuck! Oh. We told you about the fuck with us! Shit! Michael! Say fucking Michael! Fucking shit! Get the money! Me and my brother watch the kids! Yeah, look, get me in. Shit. Yeah, like I said, man, everything's a little fussy. Well, if you think of anything else, Mr. Lopez. Yeah, sure, sure, I'll give you a call. Thanks. Yo, what's up, Bobby? Hey, 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 hey. So it started off with um, Three Leaf Clover from the main story, so... Hey, Tony, it's me. I didn't know that was Tony. Yeah, there was a bomb at the bank. Place pretty cool. Robbed. Nothing to do with me, I, I swear. Um, some Irish guys. Anyway, um, listen, I'm coming over, okay? <laughs> so wake up. And then there was Nico and the crew rolling by. That's great. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I, I was working late at the club. Yeah, mommy, don't be like that, okay? I'll be home soon. Look, I, I gotta go. Okay. Who the fuck is it? It's me, don't. Oh, whatever. Come up. Oh, how are you? I'm good, boss. How are you? Oh, you look terrible. <laughs> That's good, because I am terrible. Fucking wretched. What's wrong? Oh, the usual. Boyfriend thinks I'm a cash machine. One nightclub catering to the rich, mindless crowd. In a city where the rich, mindless crowd is something poor and mindless. 
Not a club catering to the gay and decadent crowd, where the gay and decadent crowd suddenly think decadence means buying outrageous new throw cushions instead of getting loaded in a bar. And every half-wit, part-time hood in this city thinking, I know, let's put the squeeze on the club owners. They must really, really want to substitute my inadequacies with their money because after all, they want to stay up all night talking bullshit to morons because they enjoy it. it sounds pretty usual. Oh, thanks for the support. Hey, that's what I'm here for, boss. Mm -hmm. Yes, you know, if the bodyguard business partner thing doesn't work out, you should consider a career as a fucking life coach. A what? Never mind. Did you speak to Troy? Yeah, he said he loves you, but he can't handle working the door at a gay club anymore. He says people are laughing at him. Who's laughing at him? I don't know. I think the little people who live in his head. The ones stuck in 1955. <laughs> oh, I love those people. And what's up with Desi? Yeah, he says he saw you last night. Yeah, and you was holding court with that Chloe Parker until uh -huh. 4 a.m.? I was? Apparently so. Oh, my God. 45 years old, and I get my kicks doing blow with 17-year-old kids whose only claim to fame is that people know better what their vagina looks like than their face. I should be sent to prison, shouldn't I? Yeah, most definitely. What's this money? Did you rob your own club? Tony, I just went to the bank for you, man. I don't want it in the bank. Hey, Tony, the door was open. Man, it's easier to get into your apartment than into your nightclub. Yeah, we have an no Guido policy at the club. Here I ain't so sure. Oh, I love getting racially abused by a spick. Yeah, who's a fucking taco, Tony? Uh, my business partner, Luis. Gentlemen, watch your language. We're in the great melting pot. We're not spicks or guidos or fags. We're proud Americans. Luis, this is Vince and Rocco, relatives of Gracie. And credit is to you. And guess what? We ain't here about Gracie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> That's a start. I guess we don't have to beat you two lovers up. Yeah, good one. See you later. Oh, nice to meet you, Muscles. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> fuck, there goes payroll. Who the fuck were those two assholes, T? <laughs> Fine men of the cloth. Who the fuck do you think they are? Ancelotti goons I borrowed money from way back. Uh, never mind. Amateurs. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. So maybe I was wrong about my previous statement. That that guy wasn't Tony. That was the guy we just met. We need to go to Hercules. Ooh. Sensitivity way too high there. Are we a lot or what? So I guess we're playing as Louise and we're working for Tony. Give it off. I guess that makes a little bit more Where'd the sense. Cash come from? Well Tommy you've been running a skim job. 100% legitimate, Luis. You know me. Total transparency. Sometimes I wonder if you brought me on as a partner just to share the blame when the IRS comes knocking. I was investing in your industry and acumen. Don't look for anything sinister here. That's what you say, T. But I'm kind of suspicious. Maybe when it's in that robbery made me paranoid. And maybe it's just hanging out with you. Who the fuck knows? We will soon find out, Luis. We will soon find out. It's probably a little bit of both, though. Here we are. Troy, get over here. A very important client is coming tonight. We need complete discretion. <laughs> you know me, Tone. Don't ask, don't tell. Military grade. Hey, this is serious. He's paranoid no one will buy his next CD if they know he'd rather be singing cabaret than rapping. As if people buy CDs anymore. Sure. Look, I really need to talk to blah, you, Tony. Blah, blah, blah. Another time, Troy. We'll be at Masonette. What a great club. Troy's right? getting anxious. We should all be getting anxious. The nightclub business is going to shit. Forget the banks. We're the one. Time to be charming, Lulu. All right, Tone. Hey, Al. I gotta make some calls. You work the floor. Ooh, I hope none of this is copyrighted. I mean, I got music turned down, but you know. You never know. 
what gets copyrighted, like that one cut, if there's that one cut scene in the main story that the radio was playing and it was just kind of like, you know, it was copyrighted music. So you can do all kinds of stuff in here. The VIP area and I didn't get a chance to read that all. Um, hang out in the club. First of all, I'm gonna see if I can turn this off because if I can, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Music levels off. Sound effects, GPS speech output. Yeah, it's all. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. So hopefully it doesn't, you know, turn out for the worst here. Over here and see what's going on. Start dancing. Coming in, not in them clothes. Not with that attitude. Enjoy looking for a job in this economic climate, motherfucker. Yeah, yo, what the fuck, eh? Tell this clipboard and earpiece motherfucker to back up, pal. Back up? Yo, what's the problem, D? You asking me? Yo, relax. Go inside. I got it. Yeah, go relax. Go inside, eh? Yo, mommy. You need to okay. go relax. Later for you. Nice. Ah. Shut up. Okay? Jeez. Wow. Downtown's really changed you, man. You too good to take money from me and Enrique now? You know it ain't even like that, bro. Okay, you don't pay for shit in here. Okay, you just can't be looking like you came from selling dope on the corner. You said that like it's a bad thing. Tony, what do you think? <laughs> Desi wouldn't let me dress like that. Huh? You see what I mean? Come to think of it, Lou, what the fuck are you wearing, huh? What? Go home and take a bath. <laughs> do nothing else. Put on some clothes, huh? Yeah, I had a complicated day, okay? All right, so take some time off. The girls in there could use a night off too. <laughs> we out there. Bye, bye, gentlemen. Nice boss you got there. Stuck a fucking fag. Mike, right, come on. Hey. All right, so far a lot to take and so far. Oh, excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Oh, yeah, I've been thinking about this. How many days a week you work those corners? Seven days. Junkies need junk, rain, sleep, or shine. You ain't no postman, look. You a pusher. All those hours, you'd make more slinging meat at Burger Shot than risking a bit on them corners. You sound like 5-0. Shit. You think Enrique could get a job at Burger Shot? What's your QH? 76, motherfucker. What they gonna let you do at Burger Shot with an IQ sub 80? They're just about to let me wash the goddamn dishes. You see what I mean now? They don't even have dishes at Burger Shot. All this shit is polystyrene. There ain't another job in the city for this dumb bastard to do. Hourly wage considered and all. You don't get no pussy working burger shot neither. If that 
them Ivy League motherfuckers can't find work, what you think Rike's meant to do? Work them corners, man. Work them corners. I you don't mean nothing, man. You guys are better than this. I don't want any of us to go away again. Then come on board with us. We can start selling our own product. Your connections, man. We'll have the whole city on our gear. I took a bit for you once, man. I ain't going back there. You think I put in all this work to go back inside? Prison was the best. Here we be. Thanks, Luis. Ladies, Al, tell that boss of yours we'll be back same time next week. Yeah, see you, mama huevos. I was saying so far a little bit to take in just right off the bat with Tony and then that was friends so we'll see how this stuff goes plays out at least we get our own apartment hey was that Louise Had to be Louise. There's no way it could be anybody else. We're on the bed, we'll save the game event. Yeah. Oh, uh, we already know this GTA. Come on, man. Yeah, we already know this. We can just uh, skip along with it. Oh, cool. And this is where they... Looks like they added in... Uh, little objectives and stuff. That's pretty cool. See, now that's a new thing that you all can tell me. If you all missions of the game, you'll be able to repeat missions and improve your score. Cool. Just enter to view the target score. Press backspace to quit. The mission pass screen. Enter, okay. Okay, so... 2% damage of 10. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Luis? Yeah, it's me, Tom. Things go smooth at the clubs? <laughs> made me wonder why I need you around at all. Oh, great. I might just take a vacation then. Come on, I was kidding. The clubs fell apart without you. So that bank robbery on the news could have been an opportunity for some positive PR. Fuck that shit. I don't need any press like that. Not with the way police treat an ex-con in this town. <laughs> have it your way. See you soon. All right, then. We will go ahead and edit here while we are ahead of ourselves. Um. Other than that, uh... Hey, don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button, guys. And I'm glad to see some new faces in here like usual, starting a new series. And that's all I got for y'all. So I will see you all in the next episode, guys. Bye.